so we um so praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord everybody truly god is great and he is greatly to be praised we thank the lord for his goodness and his mercy and all that he is in the lives of his people um we are um, most certainly um excited um about the things god is doing but um today um we are um um, in a in a place uh, where we wanted to get on and respond to uh, what is happening um, right now in our nation, um, and that is uh, President former President Trump um, was just um, there was an attempted assassination on his life, and um, and and so we need to make sure that we as the Church of the Living God understand what's happening. This is a very huge huge deal. Um, because God deals with events, right? So sometimes we deal with time, but God is looking at it as events. So events move us closer to what the will of God is, what the purposes of God is. We only know that in time. Um, but news just breaking, and it's about two hours into it now, that uh, former President Trump, um, there was an, a, an assassination attempt on his life. Um, he was shot, it looks like, in the upper ear or the side of his head. Um, blood clearly gushing from that area. Um, I was coming from a celebration of life from Pacoima at the time. Uh, I was driving with my armor bearer, and we were we just turned on the news to listen in to what was going on. And um, there it was. Um, we heard President Trump giving a speech, and then we hear pop, 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 pop. Um, and it was, you know, it, it clearly sounded like shots to us. But um, we now got verification um, that um, it was indeed um, shots um, uh, coming uh, coming to um, uh, coming towards the president. And so I want to uh, share um, really quick the news footage of this. There it is. Um, sorry about that. There it is. And so um, this is a big deal because last week. Um, saints, you know, the, you guys know the Lord was speaking to me. I was concerned about our president. I didn't know why. I I felt the inclination that it was based on that that um, the speech or the um, debate. It's just seeing his his cognition um, being really delayed and and him really struggling um, and having aggress, and that's a very dangerous thing. And so we as a church pray um, for our president and we continue to, I've just been just Lord, just hold him up, just giving him his strength, giving his cognition and um, giving his, giving him mobility, giving him flexibility, giving him acuity. And then now you all see probably what, what the Lord had been impressing on me. Um, you know, we are very, a very divided nation and this should never happen, but the news, uh, is saying that Trump is in the hospital following the gunshots, two injured, uh, the shooter is dead, but they are reporting that um, one of the, the people injured um, died, that, that is in the reporting. Um, right now, it goes on to say that the FBI issued a statement. It says FBI uh, personnel, I'm gonna get this real big for you guys, um, working jointly with the US Secret Services, but that's gone, you guys. That's old news. That was just a minute ago, but that's old news um, because they um, did, um, we believe that the original shots, that was shots fired towards Trump, which got, you know, grazed him, nicked him, um, and then uh, people around him, you know, two were shot, but also the Secret Service shot back um, and killed the shooter. Uh, Senator Mark Kelly, whose wife Gabby Gifford um, was shot in 2011, says they're hor um, horrified by the shooting. See, th we've been going down this path. See this Democratic Senator Mark Kelly, uh, a Democrat out of Arizona, whose wife, former uh, uh, Representative Gabby Gifford, um, was shot in 2011. So we've been going down this path of violence based on political speech. And that's why I've asked the Church of the Living God. Um, we stay out of politics from the standpoint of those things that are not uh, based in scripture, not based in Bible, right? So we have no desire um, at all, not the Church of the Living God. 
Um, we only are trying to impact and affect change as it pertains to the gospel um, and seeing people won to Christ. Do we respond to laws, policies, sit by, and, and circumstances that may arise because of our Congress or Senate um, based on things that they're passing that might be against the biblical text? Absolutely, we do. But that doesn't make us uh, political. Look here, eyewitnesses near President Trump rally reportedly saw. And I want to get you guys' thoughts about this. What, what do you believe the church's response should be to an incident like this? Because this is huge, you all, that a former president, um, there was a, you know, you had Ronald Reagan that got shot. There have been attempts on the lives of presidents and former presidents. This is a huge deal. Um, and I believe we're watching something potentially. Uh, we'll see in the next upcoming days what this event does in our country. Um, because I believe we are just so, um, they have this thing called Trump derangement sy syndrome. I believe that that is a real thing. But I also think that there's just political uh, uh, syndrome or crazy syndrome where our, we're, we should be friends. We should be, listen, we should be able to have discourse and disagree without becoming violent and without wishing people are dead and without hate speech that that causes us to be separate right and um but this man was on a roof you guys can see that let me see what you guys may be saying in the chat if anybody is even watching at this point let's see here okay so angie um is watching uh praise the lord he's okay yes debbie praise the lord um just as of two hours ago we we found out that uh there was an attempted assassination um on the life of a, pr a former President Trump. And um, I think it's really important that we all as a as just church, as the people of the living God, really be aware, number one, how God allows for certain events, circumstances, situations, um, actions in man to kind of uh, turn the tide to show us what is being unfolded. It was what's really being unveiled, I should say. So this is a huge, huge marker. Um, we need to pray for the families that had their relatives hurt at that rally. Um, we need to pray for President Trump. We need to pray for our nation. And I'm calling for all, and I hope that you guys would like and share this. And I'm sorry that there was static in the beginning or that we lost volume. Hopefully at the beginning of it, um, you were able to hear some of the commentary. Um, the shooter was killed by the Secret Service. That's what's um, being uh, uh, shared right now on news media outlets. Um, Trump is in the hospital, but in good spirits. Um, whether you're watching uh, Fox right now or Patriot or um, uh, CNN, whatever your news outlet is, um, you should be able to go on and, and kind of see uh, what was happening. As I stated before, uh, myself and um, my armor bearer, we were driving back from a celebration of life in the Los Angeles area of Pacoima when we were listening in um, because it came across the news uh, blurb that uh, former President Trump was about to do a rally and was about to make a speech. Um, and and then we just like five minutes into it, we heard this pop, pop, pop. This should never happen. So if you, I want to show you this, what happened. Um, we were listening to this on the radio, but this is how it was in real time. Immigration ever in recorded history into our country. And then. So he was talking about. And then the worst president in the history of our country took immigration. over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that where... chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. You guys see that? And and so this is when it was very clear he knew something had hit him. Um, and you see everyone getting down here. Um, and you know, shout out to our Secret Service and law enforcement. You see them immediately run in here um, to uh, protect the former president and much prayer, much prayer has to take place. Um, 
I'm believing that that screaming was about the other person that um, lost their life. Um, so that that's what I'm thinking, but we'll find out in the reporting as it comes up. So this kind of this kind of violence, this kind of wickedness, really, um, it should never happen. But we've been going down this this trap, this track. We've been heading down this road um, where we're okay, going to set up in, in a two-party system. Where and people Trump have a lot of wicked ideas. There has oh, been some kind of her. disturbance that clearly sets law enforcement and Secret Service into motion, immediately jumping around the former president in a protective mode. The crowd has been screaming. They are standing by. You can hear some voices there saying, are we ready to go? Are we ready to? And then I'll just forward, um, let me see, can I, will this let me forward it? It's not allowing me to forward the video. Oh, there it goes. Um, let me just move um, to this part here. Um, and this is where Attempting to move we out found out that President Trump was injured. okay. He's pumping his fist. Um, he is holding up his arm. He is which, pumping his fist, but clearly secret. It's really, it's really a good news. And once again, we have to pray for the, the, the family that lost their loved one in this uh, rally. Um, and so uh, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, what's your response? What, what are you feeling uh, with this news? And, and if you guys are watching this on the, the rewind or replay, um, what have been your inclinations? And I'm talking to as children of God what should be our response when we see events like this happening around our world um and not just around the world but in our own country we have to get unified we have to be unified i have to say that again i, I have to keep saying it it's just this should never ever ever happen um where you have so much hate um in our country that people would plot scheme to literally take someone's life because of their political views. And um, sometime, um, sometimes um, sometimes, what we do is we don't realize that our rhetoric, our language, um, which might be normal, you know, I see uh, the woman of God, Sister Charlene is on, Sister Valerie's on, you know, maybe, um, you know, we, me, Sister Charlene and Sister Valerie, we're having a, a discussion about you know, laws in Leviticus and laws in this and all. And sometimes our children or other people are listening to that conversation. And what they're gleaning from it is not just a, a, a discourse of different opinions. They're hearing that they should do something about it in the way of canceling out someone who they don't believe is right. And so we have a lot of um, people that in their mind, and we the spirit of wickedness is just flooding our, our nation that is causing people to create chaos and just outright um, heinous acts um, against uh, various factions and even our own family members. You know, I was very disturbed um, in uh, 2020 uh, when when families didn't even want to talk to a 20, I should say 20, uh, 21, after the election, people didn't want to talk to each other. You know, if they're Republican or Democrat, they didn't want to talk to each other. This should not happen, people of God. So I am calling on every child of God, every Christian, everyone who names the name of the Lord to come together for prayer. We just want to take a little intentional time to pray for our nation to come together in unity. You all, we have a beautiful country. And, and, and it's, it's had its ills, but it has continually progressed toward this kind of more perfect union. And for that, we ought to be grateful. And so we, we, have to, we have to pray up against disunity, violence, wickedness, bitterness. And I am so glad. In fact, let me go back to my screen real quick. I'm, I'm really glad to see, I'm gonna make myself smaller again so you guys can see this. I'm really happy to see that, um, I don't know if you guys could hear me when I uh, was speaking at the beginning, uh, former President Clinton condemns the shooting at the Trump rally. 
Um, Pennsylvania AG says a uh, state is cooperating with the federal investigation. Um, I'm looking for that little clip that talked about uh, President Biden. That pri yeah, there it is. Biden campaign to pull down television ads after Trump rally shooting. This is what unity looks like. N no one. We're all Americans. And, and I know we do this thing where we say African-American, Mexican-American, Asian-American. We have all that because we're trying to keep hold to um, ethnicity and heritage. But that should not stop everyone from having the realization that we're all American. It, it shouldn't be about if it's blue or red, which is kind of interesting because, you know, blue and red, you know, some of my rearing, you know, you got bloods and crips and that's almost what this feels like um, in our nation in terms of the, the hatred coming from talk shows and spinning things. And our, our press has not done a good job of being transparent about telling the, what the real news is. They've all been very activist-like, trying to sway the emotions of the American people, us, um, for, for power so that people can have power or hold power. It shouldn't be about any of that. I'm so pleased with the Biden campaign for removing those ads that would have you know, been attacking Trump right now. They can go back to it in a moment, maybe 24 hours, 48 hours, but that's really great. Also, I wanna show you guys um, and please share this out because we wanna get the voice of Christianity in this discussion. I know you guys are going to watch Fox, you're going to watch CNN, going to watch the news outlets, but I wanted to speak from the perspective of what the church of the living God should be feeling here. Because you're going to hear a lot of things over the coming days, and I want to make sure that you all have the right spirit about what we should be doing. The Bible says, pray for those who have rule over you. So last week, you all know we prayed for our president, Joe Biden, we see that there are some clear signs that there is, um, uh, whether it's because of age or or just his own health, um, and we we definitely need to have him in his strength sitting in that office. And now we need to pray for Donald Trump as well. Um, you, you know, the the person is running trying to you know uh, lead america again they led before um and as an american people we decided to move away from him in the last election cycle now he's running again and um much of the country um is feeling connected to his message to um you know what he's bringing back to the table that it should happen by votes not by shootings I want to just show you all this. Um, it says this person said that there was uh, just touched the screen too hard. There it is. There was a lot of blood like you could see a lot of people that have blood on their shirts and it looked like a body got carried out. He said there was stunned silence. Everyone was pretty somber, like no one was like in a rush to stampede to even leave children of God. Um, I, I actually can talk about this all night because it's so dear to my heart. You guys know I used to teach um, civics and I used to teach a government, uh, economics and also history. Um, I am telling you, I'm going to change my screen again. I'm telling you that this is a huge deal. So do not belittle this because we are going to find out how this attempt on his life, what's hap what's going to unfold over the next days. Probably some people will go back to their camps and continue what they were doing. But what I'm praying for is to see our nation unified together, understanding that there should be a we, not a me, not a you. It has to be a me. And when you see headlines like this, let me go back to it. This headline um, for the people who went to that rally um, expecting to hear a speech or be swayed, and then you have someone who clearly um, has a spirit of wickedness on them um, and probably has a stronghold in their mind 
I'll stop sharing now. Um, a stronghold in their mind um, did this heinous act. Um, Charlene says, amen, this, is, this should not happen. We should all watch and pray, uh, meaning to remain cognizant of the world around. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we've set up measures at church for security and, and, and like, look at this. This was the FBI. You had the police involved. You had Secret Service involved. Yet that didn't stop this gunman from 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 shooting and reaching. He was just a little bit off. If you guys go back and look at that video. Uh, former President Trump. He's talking. He's he's looking to the side and he he feels his ear and then he gets down. Just a little bit closer, he's dead. It was a shot in the head. It, he he's gone. If he doesn't turn his head. If he turns back this way, it's a shot in the head. He turns this way, it goes past him. You guys see what I'm saying? Just one. So thanks be to God um, for Kim, but also, um, in fact, we'll pray tomorrow too, but let's pray um, right now. Dear gracious Father, we bless you and glorify you for allowing us to live in this great nation. And we come asking for unity in this nation. We pray for the family that lost their loved one today through the act of this wicked violence. We also pray, Lord, for the family and the person who is still in critical condition. We ask the Lord God that you would give them mercy, give them grace, Lord, give them life. The Lord God, we pray for pre former President Trump, Lord, and we ask the Lord God that you would heal him, the Lord God, that you would give him a right mindset and that he would trust in you, Lord, during this time. We pray for our current president, Lord, we thank you for giving him the grace, Lord, to be gracious in this matter. And we pray for all people, political sides, Congress, Senate, Lord, our judicial system, our executive branch, that they would come together to Lord God. And whatever your will is in this upcoming election, Lord, you do it, but allow for us to be one. To Lord God, weed out all of these factions of wickedness in our country who want to create harm and chaos. And Lord, protect your people through all of this. Give us the right mindset. Allow for us to be in the party of kingdom and not anything of this world. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, children of God, listen, I'm praying that you have a wonderful evening. Um, and I pray to see all of you in the house of God tomorrow. We have a, a wonderful, wonderful service. Let's continue to pray for our neighbors. And I will see you in the house of God. And remember, you are a champion through Jesus Christ. God bless you. What is a champion? A champion knows their priorities. A champion strives to be the best version of themselves every day. Champions don't take shortcuts. Champions thrive when they step out of their comfort zone. Champions admit when they're wrong and learn from their mistakes. Become a champion at Bethesda.